back to my channel on today's video i hope you're doing well thank you for joining me in today's video i really appreciate your support so much i love you so much you guys and as you can tell today's video is a video that you have voted for because i've made a poll on my community page to ask you what video you wanted to see next and surprisingly the most votes went to the video that i wanted to do it anyways because i thought this topic is gonna be fun and important at the same time and i'm super glad that you have picked a um, few that i've used to hate so much but now i absolutely love them and also if you have voted for the other options i'm gonna do them anyway so stay tuned uh, for these videos so, so now why i thought this topic it might be important for you because uh, when it comes to testing new perfumes I want you to put in mind uh, four advices or four things. Number one, don't judge uh, a perfume from the opening. Don't do that because the opening it won't last so long and most of the time it's gonna change or the dry down is gonna be something totally different than the opening. So this is number one. Number two, uh, always give the fragrance more than one chance. Why? Because our taste and our nose changes by time this is a fact this is not only my little experience this is really a fact our uh, taste and our nose really changes by time and number three always always test the heavy fragrances or heavy scents um in the cooler months and vice versa of course always test the light ones and the fresh ones in the warmer uh, weather because uh, really the temperature and the weather it makes all the difference and number four last thing uh, always test the fragrances on your skin not on a paper strip or anything because it really makes all the difference again because you need to give the fragrance uh, a chance to develop uh, in your skin and with your body chemistry and body temperature and uh, it's really something important so you can build your judgment on the fragrance correctly and now the first fragrance uh, that I've used to hate so much in the past, but um, right now I absolutely love it. Uh, this is C by Giorgio Armani, the original one, of course. Uh, why I've hated this fragrance so much in the past? Because uh, I've judged this fragrance on the opening and this, is, this was my mistake. Um, because every time when I test this fragrance, uh, the opening always put, puts me off because the patchouli in here really shows up when you first spray it so um, yes that's why I didn't like it at all the patchouli was so loud and I'm not a big fan of patchouli anyway so that's why I was like no this fragrance is not for me but uh, after that maybe after a year uh, after hearing so much great things about it so i decided to give it more chances of course and um tested on my skin and i've waited uh, for the dry down and then i was pleasantly surprised i was really shocked on how much this vanilla smells beautiful smells very intoxicating and so addicting so really uh, don't judge this fragrance from the opening because the magic comes in the dry down the vanilla in here is really one of the best vanillas i've tried it really smells like refined vanilla it's very beautiful you guys i love it so much and now this is a staple on my uh, fall and winter collection this is top 10 you know fall and winter uh, fragrances of my collection uh, so this was the first one so the next one that i used to hate but now i love it so much it's a fragrance from estee lauder and this one called private collection to rose gardenia so now this fragrance this is a more spring summertime fragrance not for cold weather um but in the past i wasn't into white floral fragrances that much 
so maybe that's why when I've got it um, I didn't like it at all and also because the opening smells very very sharp and I wasn't into white floral as I said so that's why I said no this fragrance is not for me and I've kept it um, in my uh, closet I didn't use it and then by time uh, I've got into white floral so much and um, I've started to test it again and it really uh, starts to grow me more and more and became from absolute hate to absolute love so now this fragrance how does this perfume smell like you guys this perfume smells like a real and realistic white floral bouquet uh, when you wear this fragrance people around you gonna think this is a huge white floral bouquet in the room they wouldn't imagine this is a perfume you know what i mean because it really smells that realistic and that real uh, but as i said the opening when you first spray it it smells very sharp uh neroli uh, i'm not a big fan also of neroli because it's always smells a little bit spicy and sharp and also the opening lasts for a little bit long i would say maybe 20 minutes uh, you get that very sharp and loud neroli but again the dry down is divine i get the most gardenia and jasmine in this fragrance so if you like gardenia uh, check this one out uh, because it really smells like real gardenia real jasmine i also get some tube rose uh, in this fragrance and I also i don't get any sweetness it's just flowers you know just like flowers without any sweetness uh, so also if you don't like sweet fragrances this is a great option for you uh, i think you can find this fragrance on macy's it's expensive because this is the private collection or the the niche line from estee lauder but you guys it really worth it because it smells very unique in my opinion um, it has great performance great performance this is very long lasting Rejection also is so amazing, so I think it's worth the price tag of it. So this was the second one. And now the next fragrance uh, is a niche fragrance, but it's an affordable niche. And uh, the brand called Alexander J and this perfume called Iris Violet. So why I hated this fragrance in the past, uh, I've got this fra fragrance blindly because I was looking for a powdery violet and iris fragrance because i love powder fragrances so much um i haven't seen any reviews on it on youtube i've got this fragrance maybe a year ago i haven't seen any reviews uh, even on fragrantica uh it wasn't too much it was like maybe two re reviews on it and that's it but i felt like i'm gonna love it so much because it should be an iris and violet fragrance and when i've tested i was like oh my god no this is not it was completely something different so this fragrance uh, as i said it's not a violet and iris based fragrance actually it's a sweet fruity fragrance with just touch of violet so if you like those sweet fruity fragrances you're gonna absolutely love this fragrance of course uh so when you first spray it it smells, uh, as I said, a little bit powdery, a little bit also, um, you know, cozy smelling and comforting smelling because this fragrance has a cashmere note. So it gives it that warmth and coziness. And then the dry down smells very fruity, very syrupy sweet and also has some vanilla and benzoin. So um, yes, because um, it wasn't something that I've expected, that was I hate it, but it's really a nice fragrance really really beautiful oriental style uh, i would say because it's really i don't know what notes in here um makes it smells that oriental to me but um it really smells like uh, violet petals uh soaked in a fruity syrupy drink um and it's an uh an arabian smelling drink you know it's like oriental smelling uh, it's just very unique to me it's very uh, delicious uh, very sweet very oriental as i said and with touch of powder 
just fantastic i don't know why this fragrance also gives me burberry hair intense vibes so it doesn't smell very similar but um yeah it gives me actually same vibes you know those very fruity syrupy uh, with oriental touch so i would say if you like burberry hair intense the intense version you would love, like also this one so much but this one is a little bit more powdery so yes this was um iris violet by alexander j so the next one you guys uh, it's a very famous fragrance uh, it's a very hyped up fragrance you're gonna be shocked when you see it uh, i really used to hate it in the past long time ago i'm talking about like 10 years ago but now it's my absolute favorite vanilla fragrance and this one is hypnotic poison by dior yes you guys i don't know what i was thinking in the past but every time like 10 years ago i wasn't into fragrances that much but, um, every time when i go to the mall um this beautiful apple looking bottle really you know grab my attention and you know made me try every time when i go but i was like this is smells very uh, old lady smelling this is what i was thinking long time ago and it also smelled like something very vintagey so that's why i didn't like it at all and also that play-doh vibe um you know it al always also puts me off now i have of course a more mature nose i would say and i really appreciate it so much you guys this is for me this is the queen of all vanillas absolutely beautiful almond vanilla and of course sandalwood the sandalwood in here smells so comfy and so cozy i really love it um and i really regret not loving it all those years so this was um about this one and the next one, fragrance is actually it's a polarizing fragrance that people either love it so much or hate it so much so before two years ago i hate it so much but now absolute favorite and this one is decadence by mark jacobs uh, so again when this fragrance released um the bottle and the packaging really caught my eyes to me the packaging looks very chic and luxurious it doesn't look tacky to me and again every time when i go to stores i have to smell it but i didn't understand it and i didn't appreciate it and i wasn't impressed at all um i don't know why uh, but i don't know the reason actually but maybe because uh it smells like it smells very different than any Marc Jacobs uh, fragrances because I've used to love those easy to wear floral fruity Marc Jacobs fragrances like Daisy and Daisy So Fresh and those easier scents so when they came out with this very different and mature and grown fragrance maybe that's why I didn't, I didn't understand it but um I give it another chance last year I got this fragrance only last year you guys i'm obsessed about this fragrance. i don't care about all the heat on this fragrance but it really smells amazing on my skin um this is all about amber jasmine iris and some vinegar in the base stunning this is everything this is powdery this is sweet this is sensual the amber in here smells very sensual a little bit spicy because it has a saffron and papyrus this is stunning it's honey this is in your skin this fragrance you guys because when it really warms up on your skin it really smells something really different give it a chance i know it doesn't work for all skin types so that's why you need to test it on your skin and see if it's gonna work with you or not but i would say um, this is the most unique fragrance that Mark Jacobs created ever to me also this is a niche quality and niche scent an amazing one so this was Decadence by Mark Jacobs and next up it's a fragrance from Tom Ford House as a, that I've used to hate it so much in the past and this is a Velvet Orchid <laughs> the purple one and I've used to hate to be honest the whole orchid line the black orchid one this one and also orchid, orchid soleil one 
so every time when I go to the mall I have to test the three of them and I hate it, all of them I don't know what if, um, two fourth fragrances is not for every taste I believe in that so I wasn't impressed by, by them at all to me they were smelling so maybe so mature and a little bit outdated I don't know why but uh, I've kept trying all of them again and again and actually I end up loving this one the velvet orchid so much so um, to be honest with you the black orchid one I still don't like it that much but this one you guys oh my god love it love it uh, I've talked about it in my channel before an amazing amazing uh, white floral orchid florals and also some purple florals with um, boozy and sensual notes amazing intoxicating mature grown sophisticated fragrance for sure this is for me for more special occasions uh, nights out yes this is not for every day this is not for you know daytime this is not for work of course no this is only for you know special events something like this because it really smells that sophisticated and unique and also the performance is out of this world you guys this is gonna last at least 10 hours in your skin projection also is very strong so that's why it's very suitable for you know special occasions but it smells amazing uh, it smells really unique i would say a mature lady in her 30s and 40s would like this one so much so unique it smells a little bit lady boss fragrance but it's very sensual at the same time it smells boozy sweet very floral it has also a sweet note gives it all the uniqueness it's just an amazing one um, again i don't know what i was thinking about in the past but i absolutely love it right now so this is uh, Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford and uh, the last one but not least you guys you're gonna be surprised so much because uh, this is again it's a very famous fragrance seems like everyone loves it so much except me in the past and believe it or not this is the newest fragrance in my collection I've got it only two weeks ago Are you ready? <laughs> so this fragrance is Dior addict you guys i'm super happy that i finally have this treasure in my collection finally now why i hated this fragrance to be honest i hated this fragrance so much so first of all i was younger you know when i first tested i was much younger again maybe like eight years or so so every time when i smelled this one i was like no this smells so old this smells too much i un i don't understand because also in the past it was very famous also but i didn't understand it also it was too much for me like no this is this was a big no for me and now i've tested again last year it was summer time or spring time uh it was uh in a warm month but i ended up not liking it at all it was very was very heavy and i don't know why uh, it, it evokes um you know sad feelings when i've smelled it before i have no idea also why and then i've tested again uh at the beginning of this winter it was last november i think and um i don't know now when i've started to liken this fragrance so much i was like oh my gosh this is smells magical the vanilla in here really smells magical and uh i've kept you know going to ulta to my local ulta to test it again and again and every I time that i fall in love with it more and more so uh i'm super happy that i finally understand the hype i finally got it in my collection this is something too big and too special for me so when you first this fragrance uh for me you're gonna get um a heavy dose of, of jasmine and some green notes also so it's like uh, a green jasmine smelling and then quickly develops to a very beautiful and addicting real vanilla scent this is very refined 
high-end vanilla scent, I would say, and it also smells spicy. I don't know why I get some cinnamon in this fragrance, you know, some spices. So to me, it smells like spicy vanilla. I can smell cinnamon in it. I don't know why it doesn't have any cinnamon notes. And I also can smell uh, some cloves. Uh, so it's cloves, cinnamon, vanilla scent that dry down to me. Very unique, smells really velvety, you know, very thick, refined vanilla. And an amazing, amazing winter scent, of course. So now if uh, Hypnotic Poison is the queen of all vanillas, uh, so to me, this is the king of all vanillas. Um, just absolutely beautiful. And because maybe every time I've tested in the wrong weather, as I said, maybe that's why it was too much because it, it's really for only cold weather, like very cold weather, then when all the magic happens. Absolutely love it, you guys. And um, this was the last one that I've used to hate so much, but now it's a real and a strong love from me. So I really wish that you have enjoyed today's video and today's topic. Um, I really uh, hope that it was helpful for you. Let me know also, of course, what fragrances and your that you have used to hate and now you absolutely love them. I would love to hear from you. And uh, thank you so much, you guys. And also stay tuned for more videos uh, that you have voted for. And of course, uh, don't forget to like the video if you have liked it. And uh, don't forget also to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much, you guys. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.